What's up guys, my name is Dichronic, your host on this Destiny tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you the new raid pulse rifle. This pulse rifle is called the Oversoul Edict. It's an interesting pulse rifle, it has a full auto, a bunch of ammo, a random thing you can shoot through walls. It's a very interesting weapon. Today, I'm going to be reviewing what I think of this weapon compared to other pulse rifles and other weapons in the game. And in general, you get this thing by completing the hard mode raid on just the pit part, the part where the lanterns are. If you complete that part, you have a random chance of getting this thing to drop. One thing I wanted to mention is that this is a PvE review. So if you're looking for a PvP or how well it does in PvP, or you don't like my review because I say something bad about it, again, this is not for PvP because I don't play PvP. This is solely based on a player versus environment role. First and foremost, obviously, this thing has arc damage. It's very good for when there's arc burn or against captains. Um, the, one, the fact that it's full auto, which is actually the first upgrade after the the, the first ladder, it just makes it a, a little bit better for the for the for the captains because most of those usually you pull out a pulse rifle or uh, my I apologize, a fusion rifle, and you're able to just take down a shield really fast. This weapon is actually really good with the full auto form. Uh, initially, this weapon just really wasn't that good. Uh, the sights that you start off with aren't really that um, that good, in my opinion, and the last sight is the most like uh, uh, easiest to use, in my opinion. But that's my opinion uh, for the mid-close range area. Of course, the first upgrade is the full auto upgrade, so you can just hold down the trigger, and it will continue to fire off pulse shots. It will still act like a pulse rifle, so it won't just make it completely full fully automatic, uh, but yeah, that's how it is. The first uh, thing is the uh, obviously is a damage upgrade. The second ladder has uh, aiming this weapon is incredibly fast. It's an interesting one, but it's really not that great. And compared to this next upgrade, the maximum ammo capacity is just so so much better. One of the biggest problems I have with pulse rifles is they usually have to reload so often. If you have a full auto pulse rifle, you definitely need this ammo upgrade, increased weapon stability. Uh, I've actually used this. Uh, this is just earlier footage of me actually just uh, going through the upgrades. Uh, the stability is all right, but it just doesn't upgrade it enough to actually. Uh, um, need that upgrade the ammo capacity in the mag is just so so important having those extra four pulls of the trigger is just so important of course you can actually shoot through the wall of darkness if you guys don't know the knights actually you know the things where they, you start attacking them they put up this like shield of darkness in front of you the same thing that the song of our can do it can penetrate straight through that you know where their heads are you can stop their health regeneration and actually kill them so it's decent against hive uh, but for the most part you're gonna be using this against fallen it's actually a very good weapon for the uh, mission um, niggle so because that has a lot of fallen and it has uh, enemies with the uh, Wall of Darkness, so that's kind of a double whammy for this weapon. Overall, I would like to say this weapon is actually one of the best pulse rifles in the game. That being said, pulse rifles are not that good in the game whatsoever. So in general, I would give this maybe a 6 or 7 out of 10 in ratings compared to all the other weapons. I'd say this is actually a, a weapon that's comparable damage-wise to the Red Death. The Red Death is actually a very interesting weapon. It looks badass, but again, the pulse rifle time to kill is just not good. One thing I have to say is that getting this maximum angle capacity and making it full auto absolutely changes this weapon. It, when I first started off, I thought this weapon was absolutely garbage. I didn't really like it. It just didn't do enough that I wanted to, but having it full auto just makes it so much easier to use, uh, makes the damage faster, and makes it easier with having to pull the trigger every few seconds, and that's kind of just a, an effort to do. And having the actual uh, extra magazine capacity, being able to shoot an extra four times uh, per clip is just so, so important, especially with this weapon. I don't know why, but it's just so much more comfortable if you actually have those both of those upgrades on it. So if you guys are trying out this weapon make sure you get those upgrades before you judge it and for the most part the wall of darkness really doesn't come up that often and for the most part I'm like I don't know that that's what this thing has off the top of my head so I'm like I, I don't uh, automatically switch to it and be like hey this has a wall of darkness penetration but no I just I, I just automatically just stop shooting at that point but uh, overall again this is one of the better pulse rifles in the game comparable to the red death which is one of the best pulse rifles in the game but it's just not that good of a weapon compared to the uh, Praetis timepiece it is a better weapon because of that automatic and more ammo in a clip I found that the uh, the Predator's timepiece was just it's just not a good weapon at all it did shoot fast and this weapon does shoot fast as well it's a very pretty much a copy uh, from the previous weapon but it, it's just a better version of it. it there's nothing really good or great or amazing about it and uh, yeah that's my review this is again a PvE review it might do really really well in PvP that is something somebody else will have to tell you uh, just because of the fact that I don't play PvP and in general this is just uh, one of those weapons you only bring up when you have need arc burn in that case I would much prefer having a fate bringer even if the fate bringer is max like 300 damage and this one goes to 331 the fate bringer is just so so much better it has better arc damage and all that stuff either that or you take the fang of Ayut. this is the uh, scout rifle that has arc damage from the raid that you can get that from the end boss and that, that's much better weapon in general actually a pretty good weapon overall but anyways that's a review for you guys today if you did like it make sure you leave a like down below it really helps the channel as well as subscribe for more destiny 
reviews in the future, let me know down below what kind of weapons you guys want me to review. Uh, maybe you should check out the uh, my channel. I have a lot of reviews I've already done, so go check out what I have done and, uh, you know, uh, automatically uh, suggest something else I should do. Obviously, I have to actually get the weapon. That's why I don't usually just do uh, the ones that you guys want a lot just because I don't have it. But, uh, yeah, let me know down below, and maybe if I have one, I can favor that one more than the other. But anyways, that's the video for you guys today. If you want to uh, ask me what kind of weapons I have, make sure you go tell me at Twitter in the description down below. Best place to reach me, and pretty much nowadays is like the only place to reach me because I'm so, so busy. It's just a lot of comments to go through. So uh, Twitter is the best place. If you have a comment, you should definitely send it there and say hello, as well as uh, Boom Babies. So let's say Boom Babies. That's going to be an interesting day where you randomly say Boom Babies to me, and I'm not going to remember. But anyways, that's the video for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name's been Nychronic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.